bear this better this room. I don't know, it's just I'm not gonna actually go I I don't know if just interacting with the airlock is gonna make me leave, so let's just keep touring around. Oh you can't even go in here that was the armory. I have to go to the crew deck just to see what they did with the armory. The or well not the armory, the the weapons, you know. Where where Garrus was. So I wonder then if Garrus went back to Palavin then, um, if we're about to find him. What is this? Well, okay. Okay, battery. There we go. That's the word. But seriously, what is this? This is not the room where I seduced Garrus. <laughs> Whatever. I don't like what the Alliance did with it, I'm sorry. Is the med bay still the med bay at least? Well, it's not the med bay without Dr. Chakwa, so no, not really. Power bonuses, hmm. That sounds interesting. Uh. What's this? Oh, I see. It's the, um, the girl. I was like, that can't be Legion! <laughs> I mean, this, the ship doesn't even look finished, you know what I mean? <laughs> Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone, 95% <laughs> of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Yeah. Being with the council didn't go too well, huh? It was less than ideal. At least the council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. <laughs> I'm flattered, I think. Okay, so it's not letting me do anything, or... Okay. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access.
This is probably embarrassing, huh? <laughs> if you're a romance tour, I'd love to read that and tease her about it afterwards. Okay, now let's talk to Liara. Shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Do the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Sean. Yes, it's good to have you back, Liara. You know, there are people, like, a lot of people, because I'm following, um, Bioware Confessions on Tumblr, there are a lot of people who want her dead. I'm like, how can you want Liara dead? Seriously. Okay, in Mass Effect 1, Liara was the most adorable thing ever, and I know in Mass Effect 2 she changed a lot, but, like, I'm sorry, but what she went through with Farron and the, uh, the Shadow Broker, yeah, I think that would change a lot of people. <laughs> the restrooms. Well, uh, I think they even changed the restrooms a little. Jeez. This is where uh, Samara was, right? It better not be where Kasumi was, because they changed it completely and there's... Okay, come on. Okay, we're going to look over here. I think this is where Kasumi was. If they took the lounge away, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, it's still here. Oh, yeah. Except you can't get drunk. Damn. Damn. Oh, this is cool. Got their little poker shit going on over here. Although... Oh, I can't interact with anything. Oh, I can't even go in the men's bathroom anymore. What the hell, Bioware? Stop freezing, game. Ah, oh, all the conversations with Thane. Alright, so I've pretty much seen everything else here. Let's go down to engineering. Oh, But, but, but... Donnelly and what's-her-face? At least this is remotely familiar over here. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Engineer Adams. Isn't that the same guy from the original Normandy? Or maybe not. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean, I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back. I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? 
I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you. I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Jessica is my team incentive to keep her well <laughs> during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. It should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw it through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cloud network processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and at time I saw her advantage. Even grew to like All right. <laughs> Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Nowhere near as awesome as the other engineers from Cerberus, but oh well. I hope we get to see him again. Oh, Jack would not be happy to see that they changed her little hidey hole over here. <laughs> Yes, I said hidey hole. <laughs> well, good to see that all these uh, model ships are sitting around. And not in the captain's cabin. Which I should probably go back to the captain's cabin just to kind of see. Can't go in there, but we can't go over here either. I assume that's the armory or like the shuttle bay. That's something new to check out. And then we can talk to James. <gasps> yes, the Robo Dog! Hello, Robo Dog. Do you do anything awesome other than try to scan things? Oh, look at Vega. He's all like, oh, Macho Man. Alright, before I do that. Go talk to him, I mean. Let's see if these guys are talkable. Not really. Alright. Is it seriously all the Robodog does? I mean, it's awesome to have, but come on. Oh. Oh, I didn't even realize you could examine it. Hey, I told you to stay! <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> All right, let's go interrupt James's little workout over here. Hey, Shepard, how'd it go with the council? Same as usual, non-committal, unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Yep. I want to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. 
Never been to the Turian homeworld. You come down here for something, or are you just looking? Uh, so, uh, looks like he can be romanced. <laughs> I mean, unless I'm taking that totally the wrong way. I did just come to chat, but I might stay for the show. I have to work harder than that if you want me to blush. Not sure what there is to talk about. You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can do it at the same time? Oh, I can dance. Okay, Lola. Let's do this. Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You shrink too? No. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So. Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <laughs> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are. We need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. <laughs> what the fuck? You know what I don't like about this? Is like, what I'm noticing is you basically have to like flirt back or else be a total jackass. Kinda look like a Lola. You're cute, so I'll let you get away with it for now. That's it. <laughs> now you made me. Break. God, I'm sorry, Garrus. They're making me do this. <gasps> well, I guess they're really not making me, but all right. Let's see what we got here. I mean, I can't just find these. Hmm. In the multiplayer, you just find them. You have to buy them. Well, no, you do have to buy them. Duh. Don't mind me. <laughs> All right. Don't anything over here. What is this? I don't even understand. I'm I'm tempted to buy it just to see what the hell it is. I'm doing it. All right, all right. Oh my. All right. Let's move on. Let's just kind of Oh, I've already been through there. Okay. <coughs> 
let's, uh, okay, fine, we'll talk to him. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. We've got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega. <laughs> or is that the surveillance talking <laughs> again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos. Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. <laughs> I'm also responsible for logistics. Make sure the <laughs> properly stopped. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even notice the hammerhead. It was right over there by Vega, wasn't it? Alright, let's go. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> First retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back. Right. I still don't like what you guys did with the Normandy. You were stationed on Earth. You have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my <gasps> parents years ago. Seriously? I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. Oh, husband! I love that! That's freaking awesome. I love you, Bioware. How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking. Flying F-61 Tridents, mostly. I love the Trident. Practically dances in low at home. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies All right. Way, so that's why you need a good pilot. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. Wait, so where's the hammerhead? Huh. Okay. No, that's definitely the Kodiak. And that's definitely a Kodiak. Or is that the old one? And then this is the new one? No, they're both the same, apparently. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. But he said Hammerhead. So where is it? I'm sure we'll find out later. Let's move on. Still need to go to the captain's cabin. But then we're done. <laughs> I just want to see what if they've changed it. Yes, they have. At least they kept the space roof, I guess is more technical term for it now. And we've still got the lounge couch over here. Which I fully expect to have Garrus sitting there sometime in the near future. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, it's training videos. Okay, it's okay. Although, um, appearance. Oh my. I think I like her in the original. I can't turn her around or anything, can I? Nope. 
She reminds me too much of Samara, like, especially in this one. It just doesn't look quite li like Liara. He's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's got this super hyper advanced monocle, monocle, whatever, I can't say. 